They catch a fish. What is that? Just with a bit of conch on the line. Oh my god, he's so big. Oh my god. It's hard to hold the line right now. Yeah, I got oh, it. you got him. Oh, oh almost. Did you just grab it with your hands? No, he's got a pair of big pliers. Oh. I got him. Holy shit! Oh my god! Look at this fish! <laughs> Look at this fucker! He is one of the big horse hijacks. I don't think we can eat him. No. I can tell can't. by his spine he is. Oh my god. It's a bunch of fish you can't eat in the Bahamas, a bunch you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that one is really big. <laughs> that fish! Damn! Wow! Holy cow! <laughs> we spent the last couple of videos doing quite a bit of boat work and uh, we're taking a break from that this week and just having some fun doing some sailing so I hope you enjoy that we will be back next week with a little bit more uh, boat work and uh, it's gonna be quite the intense video so I hope you come back next week for that and 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 in that first clip we just watched where we were fishing, we met another fellow sailor at Atwood Harbor named Hube, H-U-U-B, and Hube Vlogs is his YouTube site. And he's very similar to us, except he's a solo sailor uh, running the same route through the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and down to Dominican Republic. So um, not without his own trials and tribulations as well. So some pretty fun stuff. Amy will put a link down there if you want to check his page out. And um, hopefully we get to run into him again somewhere in the future. So yeah. it was a fun visit. Nice guy. All right. Hope you all enjoy some fun and sailing. Yeah. It's finally time to leave Atwood Harbor and Crooked Islands and head to my iguana. time in a long while since um, probably Nassau when we had to pull down the sail because a batten fell out so when we got our sail back in Nassau you may remember when we're putting it back on we tore a small hole in the bottom and so we've been at least at the first reef line since then yeah so we have full sail up for the first time in a long time let's long go check time. it out there it is full sails up let's look at some of the franken work on it though Let's see how I, Amy did on the stitching. Here's the little sail tear. Oh yeah. Two. That's tear number two. And then way up there now. Number three. Yeah. Nice. Full sail. It's Whit Sunday. Tomorrow is Whit Monday, which is um, the closing out of the Easter season. It's 90 days after Easter. I learned that this morning. So that's a national holiday here in Bahamas, and we are setting sail for my Iguana. Happy holiday! <laughs> Taking advantage of a rare um, southerly wind, um, thanks to the tropical storm pushing to our northwest no threat to us at all here where we are at so we are looking forward to just a nice sail today and uh yeah engines off sails are up and we're gonna get fishing poles out yeah how come you're not already doing that <laughs>
We spent a quick night on the northwest side of Maiguana before continuing on the next morning to Abraham's Bay. To run. Okay. All right. First catch of the day is a barracuda, but I'm feeling good. We're gonna get some mackerel or something awesome today. This guy's going back in the water though, but get yeah. Him Fish on. Uh, oh man. What happened? Uh, man, I had a good line on. He went flying out of the water, two feet in the air, and flopped right off my line as I'm reeling him in. Unbelievable. Still Amy one, Chris zero. Oh. Who's next? It was Chris's turn next, and then he just kept catching them. Just boated one little barracuda and then put the line out for about, I don't know, a little while, maybe 30, 40 seconds, and bam, we got us another one. Bam, we have another fire. Oh, baby, oh, you don't like the boat. Another barracuda. Boy, this lake is full of barracuda. <laughs> going wicked slow right now. I don't know if you can see, but only have like eight, nine, ten feet, and uh, there's a good amount of corals and whatnot in this area. So, I'm doing the best to see as best we can out here right now with some glare. Hey, why did the chicken cross the road? My iguana. We came from the dinghy dock. This is the main intersection. The basketball court, gazebo, and Amy. We found the local bar and were welcomed by some friendly locals. The next morning, we met Scully. He is the man to meet on my iguana, especially if you're a cruiser. In need of supplies, he can get them. And he spent some time talking fishing with Chris. Bone fishing. These ones were the good ones I found. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got a ton of those. I got, I got a variety of all different ones. Because I've heard they're like the ghost, man. It's hard man, to... believe me. Yeah. See, these would have it in the full cycle because growing up, we, a lot of people used to eat the bonefish around here like on a large scale, yeah. but it was it was still a commodity. You know what I mean? Yeah. So my dad was one of the guys who was pretty pretty much the only guy around here used to catch bonefish. 
So growing up, I used to go with him, he carry me fish with him, and you know, sometimes man, I see him, he get down, and he laying on his stomach sometimes. What the hell is this old boy doing, you know? You see them, but you gotta be sneaky, you can't let them see you. Yeah. You gotta kind of sneak the bait to them. But then I didn't know what was going on. As far as I can see, throw the line and fish going get it. But bone fishing, you know, like trigger fish and all oh, that yeah. shit. So I grew up learning to catch the fish. And once you spook them. Sneak. Once they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> and you you might see three or four. And you spook them. Yeah, they, and then all they they take 50 off, of them exactly. go off. You're yeah. like, where yeah. were all these fish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're everywhere. They're just... And you hear them sometimes in the distance. Whether maybe a shark's chasing yeah, them or something. Exactly. Walking the flats. All of a sudden you just hear a roar. Like, <laughs> like big school over there. But yeah. long way to walk. Yeah. Oops, right. going to loop run. Okay. Right. Well, what do, what do you think? Should, should I describe a couple of them? Yeah, man. Put a few in here with these ones. Yeah, yeah. this is awesome. I'm one of these. So grateful. Man, that is great. Oh. No, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'll have to find you on, um, are you on WhatsApp? or? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll find you on there. I'll send you some pictures. If you find yourself in Abraham's Bay and you need anything at all, contact this friendly face for whatever you need. Thanks, Scully. Hey, everybody. We just want to say thank you again to our patrons for being with us. You guys are super important to us. And we have a new one this week. Bradley, Bradley, thanks so much. This rum tot is for you. Bradley. <laughs> thanks for tuning in again this week make sure to check back with us for the next video and we appreciate everyone spending some time and checking out what we're doing here we're going to keep doing it so you keep watching like subscribe hit the bell whatever things you do yeah you know you heard it before <laughs> bye <laughs>